Last year, teenager Mackenzie Murphy helped lobby Airdrie City Council to enact an anti-bullying bylaw just a few short months after she herself tried to take her own life because she had been bullied. For her efforts, which include working as an ambassador for the Amanda Todd Legacy, this 14-year-old is nominated for a Me to We Award from the global charity Free the Children. Mackenzie joins us now. It is an honor to meet you. Thanks for coming in today. Oh, thank you for having me. I know a lot of people have heard your name in this area, but let's talk about your journey uh, through bullying and then coming out to the other side. Well, um, for years I had been bullied and in 2012 I tried to take my own life due to that and mental health. And when I got out of treatment and recovered from it, I didn't want to deal I didn't want any other child to have to go through that and so I decided to make a change and go and make an anti-bullying bylaw so they have the help they need. Okay, so what was your idea that you proposed to Airdrie City Council? What did you want to see happen? I wanted to see more awareness and something that could prevent it. It was never about getting someone arrested or getting people in trouble. It was about helping them get help and helping it not happen. In the first place. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think could have been changed if, if the bylaw that exists, if, if that had happened during the time where you had been bullied, how might it have been different for you? I think I would have felt more support. Yeah. And I think I would have, it would have been stopped earlier. And mm -hmm. I would have been happier. I mean, it would have made me feel like someone cared enough and adults cared and they didn't think it was just me being a teenager. It was an actual problem. Mm -hmm. How much do you think now that um, people like you are coming forward? I mean, we hear the, the terrible, terrible stories like Amanda Todd and then stories of people who have come through it like you. How important is it, is it to get that message out there? It's really important to provide the support and that's really all it is because when we're feeling that low we don't we don't f we feel alone we feel mm -hmm. like there's no one there and if we have the support and the help and the people that will not judge us based on it it's really important to get that out there do you think that people understand how much bullying is has always been and is still taking place i don't think so i mean to a certain extent but people are really judgmental when you say oh yeah I was bullied because they want to define bullying and that's the problem is that bullying is such a gray area that we can never really define what it is. We all have this interpretation of what bullying could be. Okay, so you've done this incredible thing and for your efforts you've been recognized by Free the Children, the Me to We Foundation. Um, how gratifying is that for you to be recognized like this? I mean, it's, it's an honor just to be nominated and then shortlisted is just... It blew my mind when I heard about it, so I, it's really, it's nice to be able to get the, the, I don't know, the, the, um, uh, not the attention, but for my story to help people know that they are not alone. Right, because that's what this is about. Yeah. This is about spreading this message and getting the support that people who were like you really, really need. Mm -hmm. What would you say uh, to kids out there right now? who are experiencing bullying like you did? I would say you need to talk to someone because when you keep it all bottled up, it's, it does nothing but tear your mind apart and you internalize it and it gets worse and worse and it doesn't get better. And once you get better, you never want to make yourself feel that low again. And it's really, it's the, ha it's the most amazing thing I ever did was went and got help and spoke up about it and helped other people. So it's about talking to somebody, anybody that you feel like you can turn to. Help is out there. Okay, so tell us how this works. Um, if you win this award, then $3,000 goes where? Well, I am going to use half to the Amanda Todd Legacy. That has helped me a lot with the ending the mental health stigma, but also um, making it so kids and teenagers could go and get that help that they need not because they're being just teenagers but because they actually have problems and the other half will go towards Woods Homes who has helped me a lot um, I actually went there for treatment do you think also on top of there being a stigma with bullying that there's an added stigma dealing with mental health it's sort of like this terrible double whammy right yeah we're, we're 
classified as crazy and and horror stories use mental wards as a, a gateway I guess and it's really it's frustrating watching those things and being in those places and meeting some of my best friends who have helped me through everything in those wards it's really it's hard to end the stigma when it's in the media. Okay, well, we are doing our best to help, I promise this. Uh, and one final question for you, Mackenzie. I know you have a meeting scheduled with, uh, with Calgary's mayor, Nahid Nenshi. What are you going to say to him? We are working in not providing a bylaw, per se, but providing more prevention and help for kids and also adults, because we don't think about adults and seniors getting bullied, but it happens a lot in the workplace and we need to provide that avenue for them. Well, you are wise beyond your years. I am so sorry that this had to happen to you, but I am so grateful that you are out there doing what you're doing. If Mackenzie wins this award, a donation of $3,000 once again goes to the charities of her choice. If you want to vote for her, and I know you do, go to metawe.com slash awards, and for links and information, head to breakfasttelevision.ca. A real pleasure to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming you. on our show today. <laughs>